Texas are stars of their own HGTV show, Transforming Family Homes. Even handyman Steve Noviello can learn a <laughs> thing or three on how to pep up your patio. Good morning to you guys. There's always a little something to learn. Ashley Turner and Whitney Gaynor are, uh, they're not far from home today from their home in Fort Worth. They've got a new show on HGTV called Open Concept. Uh, we're talking about uh, just kind of pe pepping up the patio a little bit. Very uh, patriotic this morning. Uh, also, you're here uh, for a uh, new grand opening for the at home stores who provided our props today. But let's talk about the tips because I love some of the stuff that you guys are doing here, starting with this right over here. Tell me about it. Yeah, well, we just suggest anytime that you're decorating an outdoor space, you really want to think about what you're going to be using that space for. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a lot of people over dining, a dining set is a really good way to go. Yeah. It's more of a lounge space, so you're limited on space. Then using a simple fold up chair is also a really great option. I love this too because you know you're adding greenery, but you're also adding privacy yes. here too. Nice. So kind of a two-in-one deal. It's good for apartments if you have a small patio. It's next to other patios. That's great for privacy. Awesome. These such a big trend right now. These outdoor lights. Uh, how, what's the best way to use them? Because there's so many different varieties these days. Well, the easiest way when you're outside is to use something that's battery powered or solar powered. Okay. And this big silver one right here, that's a battery powered LED. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then and that'll last a while, I'm assuming, because it's LED, right? Yeah, and then these are solar, so that's super easy. No battery, no cord. And these, I mean, what, you can hang them, you can put them on tables, yeah, so they're kind of multi-use there, too. Definitely. And these Edison bulbs are so popular um, right now with folks. Love, love that. Okay, let's talk about this. Uh, a lot of folks say, okay, I know I've got to get, you know, kind of a nice bold color and a bold mix, but how do I do that? There's a trick to kind of layering and marrying uh, those colors and patterns, right? Well, we always say have fun outdoors because a lot of times you can do more outdoors than you can indoors. Okay. So have fun with it. Find that staple color that you're going to start with and then find a few colors to, to play off of that. Here we've done red, white, and blue with the 4th of July just around the corner. And we've actually thrown those in a bucket, which could be used for drinks as well. Another multi Oh, yeah, item. you take all this stuff out and put some ice yep. in here. And, That's right. And Thanks. I love this kind of like New England nautical. I'm from the Northeast, so this is like Feels East like Hampton home. all over the yeah. place, right? <laughs> uh, let's talk about multi use for stuff, too. You know, we hear the, the, the usual tips, you know, buy an ottoman that has storage, it can do double duty. These are a little bit more creative, which I really love. Yeah, so we love this melamine right here because it's great for outside. We've got a lot of kids, nothing's going to get broken. So does this not break this stuff? Is it like. Yeah, it's great for outside. Okay. Yeah, and then um, multi-purpose with these mason jars, you can use them and put utensils in them. We've also put some little tea light candles inside of them. Great for the little atmosphere. Yeah, outside. totally. And this even, this small touch here too, and I don't know if people can see how real, I mean, this is plastic. Yeah. I mean, so really it looks great. You can still kind of have this really kind of chic outdoor um, event and I don't have to worry about cleanup at That's all. That's right, exactly. just toss it in the trash. All right, <laughs> awesome. Again, uh, in town uh, promoting the new uh, at-home location yeah. in Plano. They're moving. They used to be on uh, the, uh, what was it, the east side of the highway mm -hmm. and now they're moving over. Uh, that store opening uh, up today. Uh, you'll find a link to at-home on our station website, fox4news.com and uh, a couple of great discounts for the first day opening on my Facebook fan page. Facebook. Facebook.com slash save me. Steve, we appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. Thanks you for got having it. us. You got it.